In this video, we are going to make three different types of inexpensive bread. Amish bread, flour tortillas, and no-knead bread. Our first bread of this video is going to be Amish bread. This bread makes excellent sandwiches as it stays together and has a very soft texture. Let's get everything together that we're going to need to make Amish bread. You will need the following items and ingredients to complete this recipe. A breadboard. A mixing bowl, two bread loaf pans, optionally a dough scraper, a wooden spoon, six cups of all purpose flour, one and a half tablespoons of yeast, one and a half teaspoons of salt, one quarter cup of oil, two thirds cup of white sugar and two cups of warm water. First, we add the yeast to the mixing bowl, followed by our sugar. We now add the two cups of warm water. Mix these together fully to remove any large clumps. We will let this sit and proof for around 10 to 15 minutes to develop a frothy mix. We now add the oil and salt and then continue to mix well. We now mix our flour into the bowl. This needs to be mixed together and make sure the items are well incorporated. We now flour our breadboard in order to prepare it for turning out the dough and further kneading it. We are going to knead this for about 10 minutes or so. When the dough feels smooth, it's done. After we have a nice smooth dough ball, we place it in the mixing bowl and let it sit for two hours or until the size doubles. Turn the dough back out onto a floured surface and knead it gently a few times. We now will split the dough ball in half and place it into well-oiled loaf pans. After covering and resting an additional 30 minutes, the loaf should be about double in size. Now we place our bread pans into the center of an oven that has been preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We bake our bread for about 35 to 37 minutes, but this will need to be adjusted for your oven and circumstance. There we have our Amish bread. It's ready to cool down and eat. These taste great and never last long in our family. The first loaf usually doesn't have enough time to even cool down before it's eaten. This recipe makes two loaves for around $2.40 using 2022 prices, making that about eight cents a slice. Let's move on to our next loaf where Amy and Liliana are going to show us how to make a no need bread. My grandma made this apron for me. Now it's about time for her to make another one. You're getting big. big. <laughs> so this is what actually started us on our homesteading journey. We were in a living in a townhouse. One of the few things we could do at that point is make our own bread. So we're going to show you how to make one of the breads we frequent weekly in our house. And it's a no need bread and it is a multi-step bread. That takes two days, but it's really simple and you can start it after work one night and then come back to it the next night. We're going to start by measuring the flour and we have a, a scale here to do that. And you have to make sure nothing is touching it when you put the on button so it can weigh out how much. Yep. So we turn on the scale and then we tear it and that's what Liliana was making reference to. Tear. Mm -hmm. Get the tear button. And zero it out. And then you put this on there. And then Whatever you, bowl you have. And now you tear it out. Tear it. Cool. We're going to measure 17 and a half ounces of oh, flour. Oh. Here, we have this big bag here you want to start of pouring flour. That? You want to start with this one? We have two big bags. <laughs> now this one we already went through. It's like down to here, and then this one's up. So yep. let's, I'll just pour all this in. Yep, there. sounds good. Like 
cool. We're at 13 ounces currently, so cool. Pour that in there, please. We've got 17 and a half ounces of flour. This is a great bread too, because it uses very little yeast. And we're only going to use a quarter teaspoon of yeast. So Liliana's prepping the yeast. Our yeast we keep in the fridge. And it's we... pretty, it, it smells really good. <laughs> it does. Okay. And you want, usually when you do bread, a dry and then a watery. So you want a liquid and then you want a dry. Sure. In different bowls. Okay, so now. Add the salt. Two teaspoons of salt. We have this. This bread is great because you barely need it and you'll need it on the, we need one more teaspoon of salt, please. And it's good when you have jelly and bread because it tastes good. <laughs> it's a very light sourdough bread and or whatever you're doing with it. we like it because with the sourdough we have to feed frequently and there's a lot of steps to that, uh, taking care of it and this we don't have to do that too. Do so you want to mix that up a little bit? And now we mix it up with a spoon and we have no oil, water, or any liquid in here. We just have dry. Now add in the water we're going to do, we're going to add 12 ounces of water. So we're not going to add all this in. Tell me when to stop. Okay, stop. To see if it gets, if it gets really hard with this amount of water, we have to add more liquid. But if it's like, this consistency, it will be okay with this. But if it's very liquidy, we have to add more flour. How does it look? It looks great, actually. So it didn't look brown. <laughs> now we'll cover this with solophane and... Um, you what, don't have to use solophane, but... Yeah, our plastic wrap, what we use as a little, like, food-grade shower cap, we'll put over the top and... Uh, let it sit for 19 hours and that's kind of a rough estimate of time sometimes we pull it out a little bit before um, depending our needs and our schedule and sometimes a little bit afterwards so 19 hours is just more of a goal to set oh, I don't even think this is gonna fit oh this won't even fit okay so we'll we gotta use... find something else now yeah we'll use we were gonna one. use the soul thing <laughs> We got this cool little thingy. We have to find another one because it seems like it's dirty. So now we have to get a third one. This one's yellow. Good. So it barely fits, but that's okay. Cool. Now we'll set this aside for 19 hours. By fire. I'm, I'm, well, we don't have to set it by the fire. I, set it by the It's been 19 hours since we started the bread. Second day. And we are going to knead it four times. Sounds we good. need to get, I'm gonna knead it and we need to get flour on my hands so I can knead it. Now when you put flour on your hands, it actually feels pretty weird. Okay. Whoa. That's big. It looks like a big spider with like a hundred eyes <laughs> when it comes out. See, like the eyes. I got this, Mom. Okay. I'm going to get you a little bit more flour to play with if you need to. Okay. This feels weird, but cool. Okay, you only want to need it like four times, though. Okay. Okay. okay, that that looks pretty good. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put this down, put some cornmeal down. Oh, literally, but and this cornmeal helps prevent the sticking. We're gonna let this sit for two hours. 
We are going to oil this Dutch oven and put it in the oven at 425 degrees Fahrenheit with the lid on while it comes up to heat. When preheated, place the dough in the Dutch oven and put it in the oven with the lid on for 30 minutes. After it has been in the oven for 30 minutes, remove the lid and bake an additional 15 minutes. Our last bread of this video is going to be flour tortillas. For this, you will need the following equipment and ingredients. A breadboard. A mixing bowl. A wooden spoon. Seven cups of all-purpose flour. Three teaspoons of salt. Two-thirds cup of fat and two and three quarters cup of warm water. Make sure this water is not above 110 degrees Fahrenheit. First, we're gonna take our bowl. I normally have a bread bowl, but we're gonna just use this today. And into this bowl, we're gonna add seven cups of flour. We have three teaspoons of salt, so we're gonna go ahead and add that in there. Get this kind of all threshed up a little bit. To this, we're going to add two-thirds cup of fat. We're using coconut oil, but you can use shortening, lard, whatever you want to use for a fat. We're just going to work this in with our hands until we have kind of a crumbly stage. After you've got it mixed up well, you want to take some warm water. We're going to use two and three-quarters cups of warm water. And this is at about 105 degrees. We want it warm enough to incorporate the flour, but we don't want to outright melt the, all the fat. And we're going to make a little reservoir in here. And we're going to try to get it all together into a ball and before we turn it out onto our board. Now we're going for a, a gloopy mix here. We've reached the consistency that we want. All right, so I'm going to turn this out onto our board here. If you want to fully incorporate everything, Every once in a while, you're gonna need to put a little bit of flour on your board. All right, we've gotten this into a nice kind of dough ball. Each little, each little tortilla should be about 130 grams or so. You're gonna roll these little guys up into a ball. Take some flour on our roller. Some people have a press. I don't think it works very good for the flour tortillas. And then you just put it on your, your pan that's ready to go. Probably medium to medium high. It's gonna cook pretty quick. That wraps up our flour tortillas. We freeze them for up to a few months, but they get eaten much sooner than that. Thank you for watching our video today. For more on our self-reliance series, we have selected another video for you to watch here. Making your own bread can save your family a bunch of money over the year, and we hope you are able to try at least one of these breads soon.